What's up, guys? It's uh, November 14th, and uh, before we get into talking about uh, the latest pickups, I just want to take this opportunity to say that uh, my thoughts and prayers are with the people of Paris, with the people of France. Uh, the tragedy that you guys had last night uh, and are still you know, going through, it, it's just unreal. Uh, so I just wanted to let... Uh, everyone, all you guys know, all the fans, all the people, uh, that, you know, we are thinking of you. We hope that, uh, we hope and we know that things will get better, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Uh, and, you know, hopefully you'll become much stronger, uh, when it's all said and done. So with that being said, uh, again, my thoughts and prayers are, are with you guys. Uh, okay. So, about two weeks ago, there was uh, a release out of Soulbox. Uh, just trying to look at the exact date. Oh, actually, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It seemed like two weeks, but it was last week. Uh, there was uh, a Diodora that actually, pictures popped up, I would say, two months ago. Probably sooner than that, too. Because I remember seeing uh, this pair in, I think, was it issue 32 or 30? It was one of the, the more recent Sneaker Freaker uh, uh, issues, the magazine. This this Diodora from Soulbox uh, just had that wow factor, you know, right off the, right off the top. So, anyway, uh, last week the, the release came and went. It was online first and then in-store, so uh, people that were lucky to get it, you know, God bless you, so to speak. Uh, from all the information that I, that I heard, and I'm, I'm also one of the lucky ones, but the information that I heard that there were only 30 pairs that were released online. And I believe uh, 400 pairs in store. So it wasn't a, a, a wide release at all. It's not going to hit other shops, other boutiques, other online stores, nothing. It's, that's it. It was a one and done type of thing. So uh, very limited, super limited from you know, all the information that I got from people. About 450 pair total. Uh, but yeah, uh, it was it was tough to get, and there were a lot of people that were bitching and moaning that they couldn't get it online. And you know, it's not really Soulbox's fault for you know for for people not being able to to get the shoe. You know, a lot of factors go into into that. And well, whatever, I don't need to explain it. But you should fucking know. But anyway, this shoe is honestly uh, uh, unreal that's it I'm freaking out the dog already so we've seen a lot of Diodoras you know come and go uh, this year on, on the collab front and you know I've been saying it for a long time that that Diodora that the brand itself they are committed to using the, the highest quality materials, no matter what, GR, collab, you know, running, running sneaker, soccer shoe, basketball, whatever. Uh, but this collab with, with Soulbox, I mean, it is above and beyond any other shoe that so far I've seen this year in terms of quality. Uh, again, I really, you know, for the people that have it, you know what I'm talking about, but for the people that don't have it, uh, even this video is not going to be able to, to give justice to what is actually happening on this shoe. Uh, <clears throat> huge shout out to, to Hikmet and, and all the, uh, and, and his Soulbox team, I should say, uh, because this is uh, unreal, just retardedly fucking good um, yeah all right so let's get into it uh, the v7000 it's not the n9000 so 
the model that I use uh, is the V7000 for this one. And yes, it looks simple, but you know what? It still has pop, even though it's a predominantly black shoe. The kangaroo leather on this is insanely soft, and I mean, I'm going to bring this a little close. You'll, you'll see that, I mean, oh, look how, just look how it, 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 it molds. It, it really does mold, like, to your foot. You'll see that the toe box, I mean, just, you can see how super soft this, this shoe is. Um, super lightweight, and, the you know, the suede that they used on it, uh, the pigskin suede, the, uh, you know, the 3M, you know, the, the embroidery of the Diodora sign. I mean, everything on this shoe is ridiculously good. Uh, even the, <clears throat> the, the lining around, uh, you know, the ins, or I should say, uh, the inside of the shoe and on the tongue. I mean, this almost feels like moleskin. And you know what, I'm probably going to go and say that it is moleskin or it's some sort of, uh, uh, it's definitely not nubuck, but it almost feels like a really soft moleskin. Um, so it goes around the lining of the inner portion of the shoe and on the tongue and also uh, on the footbed. All right, these are called the Azuros and basically it was for, uh, I guess, Hikmet's passion or love, I guess you can say for the Italian culture that's why they, they kind of went with uh, or he went with the name uh, <clears throat> so yeah I mean this unreal unbelievable how awesome this shoe turned out to be again very simple um, but it still has that that pop that wow factor um, and you know what it it's definitely evident by everyone that wanted to get this shoe that still want to get this shoe, uh, that are having a really hard time finding it. Um, you know, for the true Diodora fans out there, I'm glad that you guys were able to get it. Um, I'm kind of happy to see that uh, one or two of those uh, super hype beast fanboys weren't able to get it. So, fuck yourself. Now you can't fucking shoot 20 pictures and put it on IG for you know 900 likes because that's all you have going on for you anyway again kangaroo leather is predominantly used on the toe box all right on the side paneling uh on the inside paneling on the heel the heel also has that um that hit of 3m right on the uh, the heel tab uh, above that is the pig skin suede so you got the 3m you got a little bit another hit of suede um, and then that Diodora, um, you know, stitching is unreal on the heel and on the tongue. So again, you could really see just by, you know, me moving the shoe around how ridiculously soft and, and supple this leather is. I mean, it's just so fucking good. So soft. I mean, unreal. Um, again, pretty much around starting from you know back of the of the side paneling all the way wrapping around the the toe box and on the other side of the shoe you'll have the uh, one layer of pigskin suede and then a hint or a hit of the mint okay you'll see the hit of the mint that kind of starts and follows its way all the way around uh, the shoe itself uh, the one little thing that I don't like about the shoe is these fucking rawhide laces that come with it. Uh, I'm definitely not a fan, and uh, you know we we've seen this rawhide lace on the the Pata. Uh, if you remember the all white Pata Diodora uh, collab that they did, the, that lace is just fucking hideous and gross. So it does come with a second pair of lace. It is a, a black waxed leather. Um, again, probably not the best lace to, to use, but you know, if you have another flat black that uh, that you could find, you know, go ahead and, and, and grab that, put it on. Um, I think that another good lace option. Well, you know what? I'm not really gonna 
say it. Do whatever you want if you have it. I mean, you know, you could definitely make this shoe pop a little bit more just by having a simple lace change. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. Awesome fucking shoe. This one is really, really one of the top shoes this year. Um, sizing, it's pretty much identical to the N9000, so at least go half size down if you're able to find it. Um, I mean, good luck. God bless if you do. Um, I, I'm almost going to say that you could actually even go a full size down. I mean, I had a, you know, I went down a half size and, and I still have a little bit of room, so. Um, you know, at least half size, so half size or, or a full size. But anyway, there you have it, the Soulbox uh, V7000 Azuro out of, uh, out of Germany, and awesome, awesome fucking shoe. Again, kudos to, to Soulbox, to Hikmet, uh, great job. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Stay tuned, I got a few more shoes, actually no, just one more shoe to kind of talk about and uh, we'll get into a little bit more info uh, about what's going to happen and hopefully, you know, with the end of the year coming up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.